I'm shaking, drinking all this coffee these last few weeks. Good morning, guys. I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> Ouch, oh my knee. Everything touches my knee and still hurts, guys. I have an issue with my vehicle. Okay. And it's restricting me from going anywhere. I am restricted right now, guys. Okay, I am restricted to driving my vehicle. And that's a big issue because you need your vehicle. Okay, so we're back. As you can hear, see if you can hear that knocking noise. So let's hope in the hood. It looks like it's uh, a screw that holds the belt. Okay, guys? It's got a water on my head. Thanks. Okay, um, the oil change guy, he broke my, my cover. Okay, he broke my cover. This is the cover to um, my, uh, where you do the oil change and spark plugs and whatnot. So he, he broke my cover, guys. Okay? So, the noise is coming from the belt, okay? The belts are loose. Uh, it's not as tight as it's supposed to be. And they want to charge close to $420, okay? To get those belts tight so it doesn't make that noise. It sounds like it's the engine, but it's not the engine, guys. And then they'll fix uh, these screws. This is plastic, guys. Let me show you where this goes. That goes in the, that little square rusted part here. But they broke this. Um, this, the piece that goes under, that snaps onto that square piece I just showed you. So the noise is coming from. this baby I had an oil change done last month can you hear it guys now this was not happening this was not happening guys uh, let's go under the vehicle You can hear the noise. So as I accelerate, I'm gonna put you under here, hold on.
source has an issue. So I found a mechanic that was recommended. He's the one that inflates my tires when I need air tires. So I kind of, you know, kind of bond with the with the mechanics there, you know. It's a small shop um, because I noticed that most of the shops around here are big. They want you to leave the vehicle. Oh, you have to leave the vehicle so we can check it. And that's on that's a that's a, a red flag for me. Uh, they're gonna find all types of issues to to um, charge you, overcharge you because of the inflation. They got their bills to pay. You don't know what's wrong with your car. You're not a mechanic, so you'll never know. It has a problem, and that is my problem right now. And I have. I have four important appointments that I have to schedule, and I have no way to get around, okay? So I haven't made the appointments because I have no way to get around with this issue. Um, if I get stuck out there with those belts, I will, ha I, will, I will need a tow, okay? And then I would need, I can, I can get one tow, two tows. I can tow my car wherever I need to. Um, that will be um, a big issue. So, I, if it, as long as it's drivable right now, I mean, not drivable. I'm saying that if I have to drive to a mechanic shop, I'll make it there with all this dinging and a dangling noise. Um, let me get this cover back down. I just want to put it down and check it again. It has an oil change. Okay. It has a... Uh, oil change uh, synthetic it's like they say in Spanish cuando le inga en mandinga yeah, yeah I haven't heard of it <laughs> it's like when it's not when it's not Juan it's Pedro so we have a saying uh, if it's not inga it's mandinga um, it is not much of a big mechanical work okay to do it's a beautiful day today guys it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood you can hear the planes right there's a um a small aircraft um airport right up to my right side okay and uh, that's my entertainment right there the highway the road. Welcome back, YouTube family. Um, glad to have all of you guys. Um, someone knocked on my door. I'm gonna. I, I was making a video, and I got a knock on my door, and I paused it. I'm still gonna upload that video. Uh, and I opened it. I looked through the peephole. There was no one. So I open the door and no one's out there. Just as quick as they knocked, I was over there. I went down the steps to see, look downstairs, no one. I uh, walked up to the sidewalk, looked around, see if anybody was walking away or something, no one. So I, I left behind my ring doorbell, okay? I have the mini blink that I can uh, hook up from the outside of my door, but that got to go screwed on. And with the blink, the little mini blink that I have, it just snaps onto that little hole. So anyone can just remove it. So it's not a good idea to put, uh, to screw up at the top of the door frame from outside. So, and I left my ring doorbell behind okay in New Jersey it was in a bag and uh, it didn't come with me or I would have had it installed so the mini the mini blink camera is not the one for out here it would have to be the ring doorbell which I um, I had it at my uh, uh, wired to the doorbell when in the apartment I had in New Jersey and besides that it had a a case that you couldn't take it out from there 
So I'm going to have to do something to get another one um, to mount it here. Um, because I already had that encounter, okay? It's strange, guys. It's strange. So anyway, I'm not going to give it, pay it too much mind. Because I do have a little peephole there. Um, but it's still strange. <laughs> so to be on the safer side, I don't have a doorbell. There is no doorbells um, in these doors here. Uh, a doorbell mounted outside would have to be battery operated. That wouldn't do me any justice either. Okay? Because they could ring the doorbell and still would be no one. So my best safety is there is one downstairs. The people downstairs, they do have one on their door because I've seen it. When I come up, I see it. So I'm going to have uh, down the line, I'm going to put one here because it automatically gives me notification on my phone. Anywhere I'm at, if I'm home or not, um, I can see, okay? who's out there or who is approaching and that would be safer okay because i mean i have a maze okay uh by the door uh but sometimes you don't think okay uh and it could be my daughter that's home i mean this is a safe area but you're not you can't say you're safe safe and just let it go at that you always gotta have that the back of the mind, uh, it could be anything, okay, or anyone, or who knows, or what the intentions are. So, guys, um, just to let you know, I'm going to go back to the video, and uh, I forgot what I was making a video about. I was facing the door. I was not sitting in this position. I was on the other side of the table facing. You could see the door. I can see the door through the, the, the cam. And on the video, if I heard it, you must have heard it on that video. So let me see if I can get back to that video and load it up. So uh, I um, I uh, was looking for my um, wireless mic. I know I have it in a safe spot. Um. And it was in my laptop bag, okay? My, the bag, the laptop carrier bag. So, it's charging. <laughs> I thought I had it in my van, okay? Because normally I would make videos in the van. Uh, some from indoors in that garage apartment I had. What apartment? Uh, there was, that was a, a she shed, okay? Um, I called it a shed, actually, a, a shed garage. Lord have mercy. My son showed up at the right time. But you know what? I feel so bad because it, it cost them a lot of money to get me in here. But, um, he's a good kid. Um, and heck, um, I know we can't say, oh, well, you gave him life and all this and that, you know, but still, you know, it's a sacrifice of his savings, his hard work um, that set him back to help mama. But mama, you know, down the line, sometime, um, I always make up for stuff, okay? But it's understandable. Um, his sacrifice was to get me, because I was going insane. Guys, if I didn't have y'all, I would have been in the crazy house by now, okay? Or, or probably locked up behind that. Some uh, lady realtor renting her own property, telling my son that my credit wasn't good enough to rent anything, but she had something that accepted my numbers. It was her place. Well, anyway, guys. It is what it is, right? We all go through shit in life, right? We learn. As I say, it doesn't matter how old you are. You, you're you always learning something new. You always encounter things you don't expect. 
And that's how we learn, okay? That's how we learn. Only thing is, I always say, I don't always say the same thing. I wish I knew what I know now, maybe 25, 30 years ago. I, I would have been in a better position. But sometimes our mind is slow or we'll get wrapped up um, in other, you know, other um, situations and we don't put two and two together or we can't. Okay, we can't. But we learn as we go. So, um, sometime next month, I don't know, um, I'll try to uh, get a, a ring doorbell member that um, puts the movies in. <laughs> I sent them a message. When are you going to add Civil War? No, I ain't going nowhere to see it. I'm going to watch it right here. Oh, yeah. So, guys, it just came out recently. I've been hearing a lot about it. Um, and I'm dying to see it. I hear people say, oh, it ended in a shitty way. But I said to myself, it's not how it ends. Okay? I, we see movies at home that we... Um, all into it and all of a sudden it ends in suspense like now what you know did, did this person become that or this or is this gonna happen that's gonna happen well if there is no part two or sequence to it you'll never know and it's just a guessing game right that's that's the that's the i think that's the fun of the um ending sometimes but it doesn't concern me how the heck it ends is to see okay i think people did not focus on the movie itself maybe i haven't seen the movie but i'm dying to see it but according to what i hear about it i think persons should focus more on the situations that went on in the movie than the ending okay i guess to gain some knowledge of the movie itself in a real situation, I don't know because I don't know nothing about the movie, guys. I don't know what, nothing about the, the the movie. And I don't go to theaters. I, I see it right here. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid of crowds, guys. I am afraid of crowds and the doctor. Okay, but in Dalla Hustler, I get the white coat syndrome <laughs> or the green coat syndrome, or the blue coat, whatever the heck they're wearing. I my blood pressure shoots up to the roof. Okay. <laughs> well, y'all have a great day, great evening, a great week, and I'll see you on my next video, right, guys? So thank you a lot for being patient with Ada, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Unless something else comes up. Okay. Thank you, guys. Y'all are awesome. Love you all. Please take care. All right. And if anyone is sick, feeling under the weather or something like that, my prayers are with you, all right? Take care, stay healthy, um, and be safe. All right, guys, thank you.